You've all got them, you all think about them, and they're actually a huge factor in people deciding where to live that no one really talks about. But we are talking about it today, your worries about natural disasters, extreme weather, and bugs. And of course, I'm Summer Aston, a realtor in the beautiful Boise, Idaho area, and my team and I are here to help you buy and sell homes. But before you know where you want to move, you know you're wondering about if you'll deal with things like ice storms, flooding, snakes, and spiders, all the things that have made the subject of so many great Hollywood movies. So I want to tell you that first, you are all in the same boat together when it comes to having fears about these things. And second, I 100% believe that the amount of bugs, extreme weather, and natural disaster possibilities have way, way more effect on where people choose to live and home values of certain areas than data analysts will ever account for. For example, when I visit my sister in the Dallas area and see their water snakes and fire ants and these massive wasp things that burrow in the ground and they jump out at any time on unsuspecting barefooted children, oh, and hear about their crazy ice storms? No, that's why houses are cheaper there. Or I hear from my friends in Florida who have a pool, but they have to have this massive screen around it to keep bugs and critters out and then they have to occasionally batten down the hatches for an incoming hurricane. So nope, that is not for me, even if houses are cheaper there than in Boise. But let's start with what to expect for extreme weather and natural disasters in the Boise, Idaho area. Yep, it's not much, if anything at all. If you want to see all about general Boise weather, watch my weather video, I will link that down below. But as far as extremes go, and I'm not talking about regular four seasons, so sit down San Diego, but I'm talking about weather that will cause damage and the type of weather events people will worry about when their brain can't calm down at two o'clock in the morning. So let's go through the list quickly and I'll let you know if there's a concern here in the Boise, Idaho area. Hurricanes, nope, not a chance. There is no ocean close by. Tsunamis. Nope. Tornadoes. Well, I would say zero since I haven't heard of them in 20 years of living here, but according to naturaldisasters.com, Idaho actually averages three tornadoes a year and it's ranked 43rd in the nation for the risk of tornadoes. If there is a tornado in Idaho, it's generally out where no one lives, maybe Southeast Idaho area, and maybe barely touches the ground, it would be very brief, so I don't worry about this ever. Ice storms. So I cannot speak for ice storms in Southeast or North Idaho, but in the Boise area, it's very rare. I think I can recall maybe two times in 20 years where we had weather that created ice that was not the same as the ice that comes from the natural cycle of melting snow. So one was this winter and it was very cold and for some reason it rained and then the roads were like a sheet of ice for a couple of nights but it wasn't a lot. And I don't think I've ever seen that Boise area has had an ice storm that has caused down trees or broken power lines or roof damage or that kind of stuff that can happen in Texas. And so if you are watching this and you're from North Idaho or Southeast Idaho, put in the comments below if you ever get debilitating ice storms, but the Boise, Idaho area does not. Thunderstorms and hail. So we do have several thunderstorms a year, but they're usually a couple of hours. They usually come with some heavy rain and maybe with some wind and interesting clouds and occasionally hail. It is common for us to get little tiny hail for like five minutes, three or four times a year, just enough for everyone to get really excited for a minute and then it goes away. And one time several years ago, we did have golf ball size hail, which did do some damage, but it's not something to worry about here as large hail is incredibly rare. Massive amounts of snowfall. As you can see in my general weather video, which is linked below, Boise does get snow, but not much in the world of snow accumulation. So this past couple of weeks, we've had some snow every day, but it piled up maybe like two inches here and there and then melted in a few hours. So we did have snowmageddon of 2016 and the snow piled up a few feet and it didn't melt for a few months. So while more than a few inches of snow is possible, Debilitating snow in the Boise, Idaho area is highly unlikely. Earthquakes. Would you believe that Idaho actually has a lot of earthquakes? It is a super geologically active state, but most of the time the earthquakes are deep under the mountains and they can't be felt. And everyone in Boise thought, we'll never have an earthquake here until March of 2020 when the world was already ending and then mother nature thought it would be a great joke to throw in a 6.5 earthquake that was felt very strongly in the Boise area. It was a shock to say the least, but I think the extent of the damage was like somebody had a picture frame fall over. 
since the epicenter wasn't actually too close by. But history here shows that the area has had earthquakes similar to that one about once every 20 to 30 years. So no, we don't have earthquake straps on our water heaters. We don't teach kids to go under their desks at schools. But I mean, what did we all learn from 2020? Never say never. And flooding, the Boise area is not considered a flood prone area. We have a high desert climate and we don't have a particular rainy season, but there can be flooding along the rivers when we've had a great snowfall in the mountains and then it melts too fast. So if you're going to live very close to a river, it could be a concern for you and you may have to have flood insurance. But other than that, the risk of flooding is very low. And sorry to keep bringing Texas into this, but they know flooding is a problem, so they have those massive rain gutters to try to prevent flooding. So no, we don't even have anything close like that here. Mudslides. In general, in the Boise area, this is not anything of concern. However, there are always possibilities for mudslides and avalanches up in the canyon roads in the mountains. And it's not uncommon for a rock or a mudslide to happen once or twice a year and close a mountain road while they clean it up but that doesn't affect the Boise area unless you're regularly traveling from Boise up through the mountains. Fires and smoke. It's true, oftentimes Idaho is the most fire-ridden state in the West. Before you say, that's it, I'm not moving to Boise, let me explain. One reason you don't hear about fires in Idaho is because they rarely affect any structures or people. They are almost all in the very rugged terrain of the Idaho wilderness, which by the way, covers over 61% of our state. Idaho also does not suppress fires and generally has a let it burn approach so nature can clean out the underbrush of the wilderness. They also control forest fires with controlled burns. So are fires a concern in the Boise area? Generally not at all, except for the foothills, which do have brush fires from time to time, but again, the fire department is on top of that and gets them put out very quickly before they have had a chance to spread too far. But smoke? Well, yes, we do have a lot of smoke from forest fires and usually from other states. The wind blows the smoke into our valley and just like everyone else coming here from the west, the smoke likes it so much it decides to settle in. Some years we have very little smoke and other summers it can hang around for weeks. So this is not really extreme weather, it doesn't damage property but I guess it's just something to be aware of. And last but not least, do you have a large chance of getting Pompeii by a volcano in the Boise area like you do in Portland or Seattle? Well, everyone says no, as there are no active volcanoes close by. However, National Geographic says that Yellowstone is a massive caldera and it's in its prime time of its 600,000 year eruption cycle and could wreak havoc on the West again. Boise is about six hour drive from Yellowstone, so I suppose if conditions were correct, Boise could be affected, but I don't worry about this at night. And so I would say, no, we do not have any volcanic worries here. So all in all, the Boise area is a very safe place to live for weather and for chances of natural disasters, which let's be honest, is one reason people are willing to pay more for housing here than in places that are laden with extreme weather. Okay, if I've missed an extreme weather, we probably don't have it here, but feel free to ask questions in the comments below. And on to the creepy crawlies that I think some people are more worried about than natural disasters. So due to our high desert climate, we have very little humidity. We also have winters with freezing temperatures for a few months. So that combination does not make for a very bug friendly environment. Many people have pest control, but I don't. And except for the occasional jumping spider here and there and ants, I don't feel like we need it at all. So let's go through a few bugs and other disliked animals. So spiders, we do have jumping spiders, we do have wolf spiders, and I've only seen them out in my garden. We do have black widows, but again, in typical communities with lots of green lawn, they are rare. And I've seen like maybe three in our garage over 20 years. I could imagine that you would see more if you lived in the drier, grassier, or desert areas of the valley. I'm not super fond of spiders, and in general, I don't feel like they are a problem here at all. Ticks and fleas. We can get ticks in the spring in the tall grasses of the foothills, or if you lived out on land. And again, in our subdivision with watered lawns, my dog only gets little ticks from either camping in the mountains or walking in the foothills in the late spring. And for her, it's maybe five ticks a year that we'll find on her. There have been worse seasons than others, but we've never had them on us and we spend a lot of time in the foothills. And this goes along with fleas. We've never had to get our dog flea medicine or a flea collar. They don't fare very well here with the cold winters. 
And if you live on land here, you may need flea control for your pets. But even with our dog being in the foothills almost daily, she's never had fleas. Mosquitoes. So these vary all over the area. In the areas where they do mosquito abatement, like in Eagle, Boise, and Meridian, mosquitoes are not a problem. They also use abatement along the whole river in the Greenbelt, so we can go to that area all summer and not worry about mosquitoes. Unless you go to the mountains, then you better have some good mosquito protection because they are certainly in the mountains. And we don't have anything like noceums or biting gnats or chiggers or any of those things that would prevent me from moving to certain states. Flies. We do have a fly season and that is fall. We do have a few weeks where the flies try to come in the house so they don't die for the winter or whatever reason. But even then, it's not like there are enough flies to prevent a barbecue or a swim party during that time of year. If you live by farms, the flies will be worse during the fly season. Or just a warning to all of those people who want to get backyard chickens, you will have worse flies. Wasps and bees. We do have wasps and bees here, and the wasps are normal. They're not those hellion beasts that Texas has. It's common to have wasp catchers in yards here to try to help with wasps in the summer. Sometimes they aren't a problem, and sometimes we've had to move the food inside when a few wasps just can't stay away. What about termites and ants? So it is rumored that termites can live in the Boise area. I've never heard of them. I've never seen evidence of them on a home inspection report. And I thought that they couldn't live here due to the winters. However, some people say that they can live here. So it is super rare as well as carpenter ants and those kinds of things. We do have regular black ants that come in the house during certain seasons looking for crumbs. We don't have fire ants and I've only seen those red ants when we are out camping. Scorpions and centipedes. So these are rare in the Boise area. However, there can be scorpions out in the desert areas outside of the Treasure Valley. I suppose that those little centipedes live here as well, but I've only seen them in the garden. I would consider scorpions and centipedes a very low danger in the Boise area. And any other bug you can think of that's associated with more humid climates, we probably don't have them. We don't have fireflies though, and we don't have cicadas, but we do have the sounds of lots of crickets at night. Snakes. So yes, they live here, but they're not really a problem. There may be a rattlesnake here or there in the foothills, and you may have more chance of seeing them if you live in the south side near the desert mountains. There's no poisonous water snakes or anything like that. So for anyone who would like to choose a place to live based on low chances of natural disasters, low chances of having extreme weather, or low diversity of super scary bugs, then the Boise, Idaho area may be the place for you. If I'm totally honest, the lack of scary bugs and scary weather is one of the reasons I love living here. And again, those are seriously overlooked reasons that truly affect the cost of living somewhere. Yes, I could buy a cheaper house in the South or Midwest, but uh, have you seen their bugs and weather? No, thank you. I'm staying right here in Boise, Idaho. If you're thinking of moving to Boise, head over to our website at summerastonrealestate.com to contact us there. Set up a time to chat. You can get tons of information, download guides, set yourself up on a home search for the area, and we would love the opportunity to work with you on your home purchase in Boise. Also, follow us on Instagram where I post more tips, home tours, views all around town, all kinds of things to help you get to know the area better. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.